students won a Temple Students Riley McDonald. Riley McDonald from the Feminist Collective. Thank you. Hi guys from this afternoon. Hi. Uh, my name is Riley and I'm here representing Temple Area Feminist Collective in solidarity with this movement. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, today I want to talk about student-on-student -student violence and the erasure of student-on-student -student violence and how it's something our police force chooses to ignore. Two weeks ago, a female friend of mine was physically assaulted by three frat brothers at Kappa Sigma who beat her up because she dared talk back to them. This story is one amongst an array of stories I've heard from close friends who've been both battered and sexually assaulted at frat houses and parties on campus. And almost every person who's, who's reached out to the police to report these instances have been told that there's not enough evidence. But I can't help but think about the fact that somehow they found the time and evidence to convict three adolescent girls who threw the brick at the Temple students' face. They managed to find enough evidence to charge the three adolescent girls as adults. And however time there's a gunshot fired into the air, we get a TU alert. Why aren't we getting TU alerts telling us to stay the hell away from Kappa Sigma? Why aren't these frat boys going to jail? Why is it? that you can get expelled for plagiarizing a paper, but nothing happens when you rape someone. Right. So every time I've heard someone say, not every fat boy is the same, I've heard someone say, the locals are dangerous. Right. This is how colonialism works. That's right. Tell we strip the other of their humanity as a justification for our destruction of their community and a justification for the racist police state. Woo. The student who was assaulted with a brick received justice because the people who were assaulted her were three black girls. Non-students, the vicious other. My friends won't receive justice because the people who assaulted them were students. They were white men paying tuition. The university counts on their alumni dollars and the university doesn't want negative statistics. The true menace of North Philly acts out of entitlement. He is violent because if he says he didn't do it, people will always believe him. He is a wolf in what we perceive to be sheep's clothing, and I find that absolutely terrifying. I demand justice for survivors, and I demand justice for the community, and I demand serious repercussions for student-on-student -student crime. Thank you.